Good morning, good morning, YouTube. What's up, guys? Sorry, headed to uh, headed to bang on some doors this morning. Uh, just did a, a short video. I wanted to go into a little bit full detail, uh, a little bit what I'm talking about whenever it comes to uh, you know door to door sales and that sort of thing. Um, don't take no for an answer, okay? What do I mean by that, okay? Think about what I'm saying and, and hear what I'm saying when I say that, okay? When I say don't take no for an answer, that doesn't mean argue or or make the situation worse than it really, or, or than it already is or, or anything like that, right? We're not trying to pick fights with people, all right? But don't take no for an answer, okay? So the biggest thing is, is you have to think about that in your mind, your mentality, okay? When you're approaching a door or when you're about to, uh, you know, about to pitch somebody or something like that, no matter what it is, okay? Especially if you're walking up to a door, you know, in the roofing business, a lot of you have, have probably done this enough that you can walk up and you can see a door and, uh, or you could see a roof that probably needs to be done it, it, it there's something going on with it right so in your mind when you go to that door you can't take no for an answer you can't okay and you got to be thinking that you know when you're going up to that door all right for example um something as simple as you know you you, you knock on this door the person comes to the door you do your little pitch and they say no no thanks you know well what do you do then what do you do? You know, you, you know this person probably needs your help. Okay, you know this person probably needs a new roof. Okay, so how do you how do you grab their attention? How do you get them to say something to continue the conversation? Okay, um, one of the things that I like to do, you know, especially in the middle of my pitch, is I've got to find a hook. I've got to find something that grabs their attention to where they will talk to me. All right. So this happens, let's just say, knock on a door, go to the other switch, hey, no thanks, we're not interested. Sometimes I'll even look and I'm like, okay, no problem. Would it be okay if I give you a card? Just because, obviously I, I knocked on your door for a reason. You've got shingles missing. It looks like there's hail damage on some of your gutters when I walked up here. I, have you guys talked to your insurance? Have have, have you guys done anything to, to look into this? Okay, and then let them go. Now they may blow you off again. No, 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 I don't care. And then shut the door, okay? But most of the time, most of the times, well, you know, I know we need it. I know we probably do need to talk, contact the insurance. Oh, I'm, whatever, they're probably gonna say something, right? Um, but as long as the conversation continues, that's the whole point. Okay, and you could even say, and, and a lot of times, again, it goes back to some of my videos before, you don't know what they were doing in there. You, you don't know what you were bothering them, right? You have no idea what they were, you know, in the middle of when you knocked on that door. So you might even say, hey, maybe this isn't the best time. You know, maybe you guys got something going on. Man, I'd really like to schedule an appointment with you. Maybe just come out, uh, take a look at your roof, uh, maybe sit down and go over some options with you. Maybe there's not enough hell up there. Maybe you're okay, you know, but it's probably a good idea to at least get it looked at. What's what's a good time I could come back, maybe when you guys aren't so busy, you got a bunch going on, okay? Sometimes they're like, no, I'm not that busy. You can go ahead and do it now. Or they'll schedule the appointment, right? Now, another thing I like to do too, after I do that, you know, they may say, yeah, you could always come back you know, maybe, you know, in a couple days or maybe tomorrow at four or Saturday at four o'clock or three o'clock or whatever. Awesome. Okay, great. I tell you what, let me do this. Let me grab my ladder real quick. Let me do an inspection. You don't have to be outside. You don't have to be out here. I'll just do the inspection. I'm going to get a bunch of photos. That way I'm prepared for our meeting on Saturday and I could, we can go over some stuff with you guys. Would that be fair? Would that be okay? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay, so that's don't take no for an answer, all right? And and you have to you have to put this in your head, 
okay? You can't go up there accepting that answer right off the bat, all right? So, especially new people, man. I know I know it's tough, I know it's scary. You know, your first time you're knocking on doors and you gotta be that extra confident. So you gotta, you gotta, you're scared that maybe you don't know enough or, or those, those sorts of things, but don't take no for an answer. Oh, you can even use, like I've said before, you can even use it. Hey, sir, man, this is my first day. You know, these inspections are a hundred percent free. Are you guys too busy right now? Maybe, maybe, maybe I could schedule something where one of my inspectors can come by another day. Okay. So again, don't, I know there's, there's a million gurus out there that's got probably rebuttal books beyond belief. Don't worry about the magical words to say. Don't worry about, you know, that that certain little trick or something you can use at the door. Just be natural, be yourself, okay? Tell, tell them what's going on. You know, tell them why you knocked on the door. Sir, ma'am, I'm actually, I was with my sales manager. He's out there in the truck right now. He told me to knock on your door because he saw some shingles missing. Or he noticed your gutters were coming down. Or he noticed that your turbines weren't weren't spinning. And that's what he told me to come knock on the door. Maybe now's not a good time. Let's schedule something. Let's get something on the books and, and we'll come out and get it, you know, get it taken care of for you. Okay? Don't take no for an answer. Remember, remember, people are genuinely polite and nice, okay? Generally, they are, okay? Of course, you're gonna get those one or two that are just just impossible. They just, they just, they wanna say no and shut the door. Fine, go to the next one. But there's always gonna be that one that you gotta get them out of that obscurity. You gotta get them out of the, oh, I don't know this person. I don't know what they're, I don't have time for this or I don't have, gosh, there's another stress on my plate or, or whatever it is, okay? But you gotta you gotta almost make make it sound like it's no big deal. Like, you know, these are free. You know, I, I'm, I'm already here. You know, let's go ahead and just knock this thing out, man. Let's just, let, let me get up there and take a look. I'm not saying you gotta buy a roof from me. I, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's probably good information that you know that a, an inspector got up here and took a look at this thing and, uh, and found some stuff. And that way you guys have it in your mind. Maybe you wanna do it later or, or that sort of thing, okay? So don't take no for an answer, okay? Remember that. When you're going to the doors, don't take no for an answer, all right? I hope you guys kill it today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.